Welcome to the Daily Debrief, an in-depth look at one of today's top stories. I'm Jason Denant, here with 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia. And today, Abel's story was in regards to catalytic converter thefts on the rise here in the Las Vegas area, and specifically one organization that has seen this happen to their vehicles several times. Abel, it's great to have you here. And can you tell us a little bit about this story that you had today? Definitely, Jason. Well, it was a very, very difficult weekend for transition services here in Spring Valley. Over the weekend, they were able to witness, based off of their video footage and from their camera footage, that at around 10 o'clock in the evening, that there was somebody, a theft, who came on by, and they have five vans parked right in front of their location. Four of those vans had their Cadillac catalytic converters stolen, uh, which is very difficult for them because they highly rely on these vans to transport their employees. And of course, their focus is to try to provide jobs for these intellectually disabled individuals who are always just trying to improve and become more of our community. So they rely very much so on these vehicles to get them to that destination and try to help them out. But this is not just something that we're seeing here at this location. I mean, this has been an ongoing issue throughout the Las Vegas Valley for quite a while now. And we've also been talking to local auto shops who just say that this part in particular is very highly desired from many thieves throughout all of Las Vegas. And the reason why is because it contains such expensive metals within this part that they can go out and try to sell it to other individuals and make up to thousands of dollars, depending on the make or the model of the vehicle. So it's been a very difficult thing. And now Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, as well as also trying to get involved and kind of put a stop to this to allow businesses or to allow other car uh, auto parts art shops and different things like that to prevent them from having to deal with these criminals who are out on the streets as well. How hard is it for a thief to come along and get the catalytic converter out of the vehicle? Jason, it depends on the vehicle itself. I mean, if it's a more of a high profile vehicle, it's a lot easier for these thieves to kind of snug under that vehicle. And the catalytic converter is actually located close to where the exhaust is. So they can easily go in with any kind of cutting tool or cutting device and snip it right off. I mean, yes, you can probably, if you are in an area that doesn't have many people, you can probably see somebody doing this because it does take a pretty good amount of time to kind of clip it off. So it is fairly easy to identify and to locate, but it's a lot more difficult to actually follow through with the process and get it off at a reasonable amount of time. Is there anything that they're saying that you should be doing if you have a, a, a high profile vehicle where it is maybe easier to, to have it stolen? Or is there any devices that you can install on your vehicle? Oh, certainly. So what uh, LVMPD kind of told us for the most part is that the best thing you can do is put your car in an enclosed area or in a garage. Uh, keep that car locked up overnight, you know, just so you can keep it safe. Nobody can get into there. Nobody can snag these parts from you as well. If you don't have that option, park your car outside next to a low profile vehicle. So maybe low profile vehicles on both sides of you to make it more difficult for those thieves to kind of try to snug under your car and clip off that catalytic converter. Uh, the next thing you can also do is just park your car in a very well lit area. I mean, where there's lots of lights and where there's uh, security cameras, just in case if you know, the thief does stop by, you have proof, you have evidence to also grab it. And also making sure that you can also maybe apply an alarm system into your car. If you don't already have one, making sure your doors are locked before you leave the car, just so that if somebody does try to damage your car, maybe it will trigger that alarm and allow, you know, officials or, you know, police department or law enforcement to 